Well, hi everyone, this is Bob the Science Guy. Right now, I'm looking at an absolutely amazing aurora. And this is the aurora from Michigan. It's really building right now. It's visible to the eye, which is different than last night. You see the ring towards the north over Shamrock Banks Observatory. And it's really starting to come up. You can see this area right out here. It's predominantly green right now, although it looks like we're getting some red starting right out in this area in here. I'm doing some observations tonight, but this is the brightest I have ever seen the aurora in Michigan. And unlike last night, we're actually seeing quite a bit of movement in it tonight. So you see there's a lot of shimmering, like a shower curtain shimmering in a breeze. But this is absolutely amazing. I was going to go live upstairs, but you know, the hell with that. Let's look out here where we actually can see things. Let's see if I can avoid killing myself as I go past the uh, this little path right here. Go to the rear observation deck of the observatory. And let's just look at the wonders of nature here. This is amazing. We're gonna get a second treat, and that is there's going to be a pass of the ISS. Look at that red moon. There's gonna be a pass of the ISS here in a few minutes as well. I'm hoping that it's gonna be bright enough to see compared to this aurora. This is just amazing. This is built in the last 10 or 15 minutes. You see this area right over here started to fade a little bit, but it's intensifying out here. I'm just gonna sit down here and enjoy this for a few minutes. This is the best aurora I've ever seen in Michigan. It's similar to one I saw up in Canada once north of Lake Superior in Killarney Provincial Park. But this is going all the way up, all the way to the zenith. This is an amazing aurora. That is one hell of an electromagnetic storm we're getting right now. The aurora, of course, normally doesn't come down quite this far. The ISS should be coming by in about five minutes. Oh, look at this streak right here. That just built in the last few seconds. But not only can you see this tonight, we're actually seeing the green, we're seeing color with it. It's so bright we can see color. Last night I could only see it in black and white. Because it wasn't, you know, it was so dim. But tonight it's extremely bright. And we're definitely seeing the greens. Yeah, Michigan is fun. But this is my lake here. That light down there is where I do my curve of the earth observations. That's half a mile away. The river here where I am is probably... 250 yards wide. Okay, see that center part's faded a little bit. We'll see if it comes up again here in a moment. The ISS is due in four minutes. It should start over in this general area right here, kind of below to the horizon. I'm hoping that we're, we may not be able to see it because it may be in the Earth's shadow already but we may be able to catch it for a couple of minutes. I was setting up the observatory for tonight. I tried tracking it on the last pass with the telescope. Didn't work out so great. The telescope, when it slews, is about 1.6 degrees off. So I have to do a quick plate solve 
in order to make sure the telescope's in the right spot, but it doesn't go to the right spot until, until the thing appears. And then it takes a finite period of time to get it plate solved. And then you've got to catch up to the ISS again. And by then, a lot of your, uh, a lot of your pass is gone. So we're going to just kind of wait right here for the ISS to come by. See if this Aurora builds again. Looks like we're getting a big, we're getting a big spike up in that general area. But it's not quite bright yet. So you see it's faded quite a bit. I can still see it with my eye. But it's waxing and waning quite a bit. Okay, so now it's kind of looking more like uh, just the standard um, glow of Hamburger Hill over there. We still have that really nice moon. The ISS should start appearing in about one minute. It'll be low on the horizon over in that general area. So I'll keep an eye out for it, and if I see it, I'll try and get in on it. Now, I don't know if you can make that out just yet, but that's starting to build right over here. Still pretty dark. And there's the ISS right up there. Okay. So that bright light that you see it's almost directly over it. But of course it's right on time. Just when it was supposed to be here. Hi Otis. Otis is popping out. Say hi, Otis. Say hi, all the nice people. But you see it. I can see it in the camera right now. I'll try and keep it in the center towards the top of the frame. But that's it right there. Right there. ISS is getting brighter. And it's literally going right through the aurora right now. You can kind of get an idea for the speed of the ISS by looking at the ground across the way. It's passing uh, almost due north of me right now. I'm in central Michigan. But as you see, it kind of goes by rather quickly. And as it'll pass into the shadow of the earth, you'll see it just suddenly disappear. This is beautiful. It's going right through the aurora now. Notice it kind of rips by as it just gets station passage and then it seems to slow down as it goes away. Now, if the sun, for example, was moving over the surface of the earth like the ISS is, you'd see that same effect. It would move very quickly at noon and then it would be slower at sunrise and sunset as it went away. That's what happens with the ISS. And we're gone.